What is up guys and welcome back. So now here is the main part that starts, okay? And that is that how can you accept payments to your website, okay? So this is really very important, so guys, just please understand everything, okay? Um, if you do not have a PayPal account, make sure you get it because PayPal is the most important thing that you should be having on your site. And mostly people do pay from PayPal because there might be some do not some people do not provide their credit card information. They just use PayPal. That is a secure way and like that. So it totally depends that if you want to add that credit card option, you can add it. But PayPal is the most important thing. So what, what you have to do, you just basically need to sign up at PayPal.com. Okay. And after you sign up, you just have to log in. Okay. And then it will be good. Okay. So let me just go to my site, my PayPal account. Let me log in. And you can see um, that this is here, I'm gonna show you how can you just add it. So you can see that this is everything from my PayPal account. Um, I have the profile right here and this is my business profile basically. Okay, um, so make sure that you go ahead, you create your account and make sure that you create your business account here so that you, you can accept payments, okay? And then you have to go to the products right here, WooCommerce, and then you have to go to settings. Okay, and in the settings, you have to go to the shipping. Okay, I'm sorry, checkout. In the checkout section, you have to add your PayPal details. So if I just go to PayPal right now, then here I have to enter the details. So this is my PayPal email address. Okay, um, advanced options. So this will be uh, my PayPal receiver email. If your main PayPal email address differs from the PayPal email, enter above. Input your main receive email for your PayPal account. This is used to validate pin request. So this is my main. Okay. And then I have the PayPal identity token. Okay. So you have to grab it um, from the PayPal itself. And then we have the invoice prefix. So you can just leave it as it is. Okay. You can, you, you, you can just use the PayPal standard one and they're not much um, necessary. Okay. Enable PayPal API credentials to process refunds via PayPal. Learn how to access your PayPal. So we don't want to process refunds directly from the WooCommerce here. Okay. We want to refund up our refunds from their section. Okay. I would not recommend you to add it. Otherwise, if in future your site gets compromised and there might be some uh, issues. Okay. So make sure that you do not add anything here. You, you just have to do it manually. I would recommend you to do it manually. Okay. So here we have everything. But first, what we have to do is that we need to um, test our payments, okay? And how we're going to do this? We just have to go to um, this developer.paypal.com, okay? And then we have to, um, PayPal sandbox can be used to test payments. So this sandbox will be used to test our payments, okay? Accept payments with one of our uh, robust APIs, open the door for Apple Pay, Android Pay, Venmo, whatever the next with uh, this or get up. Okay. So you can see that make sure that you are here in the PayPal, make sure that you have your account in the PayPal. So if I just go to developer.paypal.com slash applications, you can see that here are my every applications that I have. So I can create REST app, I can create anything. But what you have to do, you have to sign up at PayPal for this. And then you have to go to Sandbox, okay? You have to go to Sandbox account, basically. So Sandbox account will be used to test your payments, okay? So you can see that I have these type of Sandbox account, okay? You will see none of the accounts, so I'm just going to go ahead. I'm just going to delete it, okay? Um, I'm just going to come here. I'm just going to delete every account. I'm going to hit delete. So you can see that when you will come here and you will see Sandbox account. So this is basically... Okay, I cannot delete it. Okay, no problem. Okay, so when you will see, you will see only this one and this one. These two um, accounts here. So these are created um, by me uh, to test my account. Okay, so now here, what you have to do in the account section and signing up at developer.paypal.com, what we need to do is that we need to create account. Okay, and then we have to enter it here. We have to enable the sandbox and then we will test the payment. So let's just come here. Let's just hit create account. 
okay and we need to create an account so I need to uh, create an account and that will be my United States uh, this is the personal buyer account and this is the uh, business merchant account so I need the business merchant account and this is going to be info info at the rate complete WP course dot com okay so um, I'm just gonna add it like this info at s5 dot complete double course.com so here I'm gonna enter the password and here I have to enter the first name so my first name is going to be um, com okay this is optional so leave it now we have uh, this right here this is the payment method uh, payment method so we have PayPal balance is five thousand dollars okay we have the verified bank account and the visa card is not the mastercard is so i'm just going to go ahead i'm going to hit create account so you can see that my this account is going to be created so once you are done with this you have to just come here and then you have to enter your email address here okay let's wait till this is done i have to check it and then i have to come here i have to select s1 info at s5 dot complete WP course dot com okay this is done what I'm gonna do right now I'm just gonna come here I'm gonna enter the same here so let's just come here let's just paste it okay and then what we have to do we have to just hit save changes and you can see that we will be done so you can see PayPal sender send customers to the PayPal for to the entire payment information PayPal pin requires four slips C URL to update uh, to update order statuses after payment check system status page for more details okay so you can click here and it's just going to take you to the system details. so you can see that my account is also created info at s5.completewpcourse.com okay same like this i want to add a personal account okay i want to come here i'm going to click here create an account and this will be the buyer account basically okay i'm going to come here i'm going to enter the email address so this is going to be um like test um buyer at the rate example dot com okay so here i want to add the code email already exists buyers um the password here okay so now what i have to do i have to just enter the paypal balance so i have this much okay uh this is the payment card and this is the personal buyer account and then we have the uh, select the payment card so payment card is discovered okay i'm just going to select a uh, mastercard and i'm going to hit create account so you can see that my account is going to be created right now and now we're going to test everything from here so you can see that this is buyers at example.com this is the email address that we have and this is currently processing so you have to wait uh, till this is processed okay you can just create you can you, you can just refresh it and you can see this is also completed okay the country is set to us i'm just gonna come here and i am going to test our account so uh, let's just come here and open everything in a new tab okay i want to go to s5.completewpcourse.com and let's just go ahead and test our payments everything so if i just come here and i can also check my profile right here okay it's gonna tell me that how much I have in my account uh, and also the notification for this okay so I'm just gonna come here I'm just gonna okay this is the phone number this is it this is the these are the API credentials and these are the funding these are the settings okay so here you can also add the username password and signature to just process the reference okay um, let me tell you what it is these to process the reference so let's just come here and let's just click here let's just click here and let's just come here let's just enter the password and let's add it here let's come here let's copy this and let's paste it so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit save changes okay I would not recommend it okay uh, but uh, we will just test it so let's just come here and let's test uh, everything so I'm gonna go down I want to buy this one so let's suppose okay um, I just come here it will take me to the winter package okay um, I need this one and I need this one and I want to hit add to card so this has been added to my card I'm gonna hit checkout okay 
I'm going to enter my details. So this is going to be um, Jonathan. Okay. Um, let's just add the email address. So this is going to be buyers at example.com. Okay. Um, I'm going to create an account for this and I'm going to name it as this. Okay. And now I have to just hit this and I have to accept the terms and conditions and I want to hit proceed to PayPal. So it's going to take me to that PayPal and then it's going to get that. So you can see um, this will be a sandbox and it will tell me that this is a test thing. So it is taking me there. You can see um, Tanzita Ramon's test store. This is right here. And I have this buyers at example.com. I'm going to enter the password and then I'm going to hit login. So here we go. You can see um, it says this. It says I have read and agree. And I'm going to hit agree and continue. So now you can see everything is totally up and running. It is processing. And after the processing is done, it's going to take me there. And it's going to tell me that my payment has been processed. So here we go. I'm paying from PayPal balance. Okay, I'm going to hit pay now. It gave an error. Okay. Okay, so it did not work with this Chrome. I don't know why it was giving the error. Okay, but then I just tried it with this one right here, um, the Internet Explorer. You can see it says you paid 46.40 to 10 zero amounts test store. And these are the details and everything is totally up and running. If I just click return to merchant, it's going to take me back to the merchant account. Okay, and you can see that it says order received. It is PayPal and everything is totally up and running. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come here and now I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to my profile right here and let's check our balance that how much balance we have right here. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to refresh this because my account is the uh, account is uh, just logged out. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to log myself in again. Okay, and then it's going to take us to the developer account. So um, then we have to go to the sandbox and we have to view our profiles uh, so that we can check if our, if we have received um, that payment. Okay, so that was 25. So we should be having the 25 in our this account right here. Okay, so let's just come here. Let's just see if um, it works. So I'm going to click here again. Okay, I don't know why it is taking so long. It has some problem. Okay, yeah, here we go. You can see that now I have to go to um, the settings right here, the funding, and you can see that my balance has been increased. Okay, and this is how you can see that everything is totally up and running. So now if I just go to um, the WooCommerce and then the orders itself, then you will see this is right here. This is currently in processing because I have received the payment. Okay. Now what I will do if I want to refund him back the amount uh, is that he says um, that everything is right here. I cannot edit this order. Okay. But I want to refund this order. The guy said that uh, I didn't like your order and something like that. I'm just going to hit refund and you can see a refund amount. So I'm going to refund him all the amount. So um, that is going to be 46. Okay. So this will be refund via PayPal. Okay. Reason for refund. Okay, I'm going to hit uh, refund uh, 46. Are you sure you wish to process this refund? This section cannot be undone. I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to hit this because I want the refund. So um, you can see. Um, um, let's see if everything works because we have added the details and it should be work. Okay, so you can see it says you have refunded the amount. And now let's come here. Let's come here and let's refresh this to see everything is going up and running or not. Okay, I'm going to come here. I'm going to go to 
this one right here and let's see if we have got the credit back if uh, the, the refund is processed already so i'm going to go to funding right now and you can see that our balance is totally right here so you can see the refund is now totally up and working and it is totally running so this is how you can go ahead you can um, just work with a PayPal you can create your developer PayPal account and then you can enter your own information here I would not recommend you to go with this always refund the uh, refund manually you have to enter your own email address here and everything will be totally up and running so you can see that now we have tested the PayPal email address in the next video I'm gonna show you how can you move on and accept credit card payment so stay tuned guys and bye bye